I'm Winnie Meads, and I'm going to show you how to do a pumpkin spice painting. The supplies you need are watercolor paints, uh, ultra fine sharpie, or a fine point sharpie, pencil and eraser, watercolor paper, paper towel to wipe your brushes on, some water, some paint brushes. Okay, go grab your supplies. Let's get creating. Let's draw our scene. First, I'm gonna start by drawing the mug. And you can make yours any shape. Like you can look at some of the mugs you have in the house or I just kind of did it round kind of because I was thinking like a pumpkin shape. So I'm gonna start part way up my paper. I'm gonna do a line like so. And then I'm just gonna do a curve and a curve. And I'm gonna make it pretty big. And then I'm going to join these two lines with a curve. And then do a curve this way. Okay, and then I'm going to do a handle. Just gonna do like a big curve like that. And some of the handles sort of have a round thing there. And now I'm gonna do the bottom. So I'll just again do a curve. That's the saucer. Just make it a little bit more around in the front here. Great make it kind of double down here as a bit of an edge. Great, now you gotta figure out what you wanna put inside of here. So you can see I did some whipping cream and a cinnamon stick. So I'll show you how to do that if you want. Sort of, we can do our cinnamon stick. So a cinnamon stick you just sort of do like a rounded, you do like a rectangle. This is the top part, and then you can kind of make it curly like that. I'm gonna attach it. And take this part out, and then you wanna put it like a line so it's in the uh, drink. And then the whipping cream, you can kind of do whatever you want. I just sort of did like a wiggly sort of uh, triangle. and then you can kind of do like you know I kind of picture on the bottom it's like you're squirting it out <laughs> and then you've got this part at the top and just erase all those lines from behind here I'm gonna do it again so just there you go that looks fun got it sort of attached in with a darker line. You can also do some lines for the drink. Now I'm going to add like a table. You can just do a line straight across or in this one you can see I kind of did like the corner of the table. So I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to start here and just do sort of a round edge, jump over. You can do this with a ruler if you want. Great, and now look at your scene and think, okay, what else does it need to fill the space? So I'm gonna do a pumpkin over here, like one of those little mini pumpkins. So I'm just gonna do an oval, another oval, do a stem and two bumps at the back and take away that table line. Great, super cute. And then you could decorate your mug any way you want. You could do polka dots, you could do pumpkins. I wrote pumpkin spice on mine. So if you feel like you need to put a ruler there, that's fine. I'm just gonna kind of 
do it freehand. Pumpkin. And spice. And just sort of do the lettering style that I like. And then I did a pumpkin here, so I did the oval, two ovals, and the stem, and the two bumps at the back. So now you can decide if you want to add anything else to your scene. I put a little chocolate, I put some uh, leaves. I'll show you how to do the leaves. I just wanted to sort of fill the scene. I'm going to turn this upside down. And then you can just do simple leaves like this. Or you can do like an oak leaf has a curve and a curve, 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 and then up top. And a maple leaf is a little more tricky. You do sort of a triangle with a curve and curve. Come down and down. Do the same thing. Like so. And just keep going like that, adding different leaves. I like how they kind of overlap a little bit. They look better that way. Yeah. You can put some little lines. You don't have to do this part. I just kind of wanted to add a little bit more color down there. Yeah, so I'm gonna keep going with the leaves. There, I'll show you how to do the maple leaf again. So I'm gonna do a triangle with two curves and come down and down. Triangle, two curves. Triangle, two curves. Yeah, just like that. Okay, I'm gonna keep adding leaves. So this time I put like a little square of chocolate. I just did a square, another square, and then connected it to the edges. And now I'm going to outline with an um, ultra fine Sharpie. So I outlined everything. You don't have to do this part, but I always like to do this. And then I erased all my pencil. And now I'm gonna use my watercolors, but you can use markers, whatever you have available, and I'll show you a few little tricks. So I try to stick to just warm colors in my scene. So I did sort of a different color here than here, so I'll show you how I did that. I did sort of more of a yellowy color here. So I took yellow and orange mixed together. Do sort of a yellowy orange color. Like so. Let's audition that, see if we like that color. Yeah, that's a good color. So I'm gonna do the side edges a little darker. And then I'll come in and make the rest a little lighter so it looks in a 3D. Do it along here, darker, and under here. And then blend. And then I'm gonna get some water on my brush and just make this part kind of lighter. There, that looks good. And uh, we'll do the same down here. Let me just wait for that to dry a little bit. So while that's drying, I'm gonna just take some orange for my pumpkin and I'm gonna use a smaller brush. I'm gonna take straight orange for the pumpkin so it looks different. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna sort of trace around all the lines first. Her open and then I'm gonna take some water on my brush and pull that into the center yep. and then the back ones I'll just do all the darker color great 
Okay, so this should be dry now. So I'll take that sort of yellowy orange again and put it down here. Go around that chocolate and then I'll do it a little darker underneath and on the lip. So I'll put a little bit more orange in there just to make it a little darker and do this part darker. I'm gonna use a smaller paintbrush for that. This one's pretty big. Great. And now the liquid part I'm gonna do kind of see this we can kind of maybe do orange with a little bit of brown it's kind of like coffee but like pumpkin spice coffee let's see what that looks like yeah that looks pretty good sort of an orangey brown looks good do a little more orange on top Color. Great, and then the cinnamon can be straight brown. But you use the colors that you want to use. You don't have to do these ones. And then you want to do sort of a darker inside of there. There, pretty. Oh, let's not forget this handle. again and I might just do a tiny bit darker on the inside some shading now the foam the like whipping cream you can leave white like that or you can just put a little bit of uh, let's see you could do a little bit of gray or you can just on the lines you can just add a little bit of something <laughs> good all right and then this chocolate I'm gonna do like super dark it's like dark chocolate a little square to go with your latte and then the pumpkin we can do orange don't have to do a lot of shading on the one on the mug because it's so small Ooh, this is fun Okay, the table, I'm gonna do the table first before I try and do all those leaves. I'm just gonna do it yellow, but I'm gonna do like a light yellow. So I'm gonna add water to my yellow. It's not too bright. Maybe I'll tone it down just slightly. So uh, yellow and purple are opposite on the color wheel. I'm just putting the tiniest little bit of purple just to make it more of a sort of muted yellow. It's not too, too bright. The yellow in this um, set is very bright. So just kind of toned it down with the complementary color. Looking good. And you kind of want to make sure your other ones are dry. And then I'm going to do some green in there. So green's sort of the only color I'm introducing that isn't like a warm color. Just to add a little bit of variety, I'm gonna make the stem green instead of brown. A little bit there, and then I'm gonna add, I don't want, see if it's just the green there, it would really stand out. So I'm gonna add in a little bit to the leaves and then it makes your eye kind of look over here as well. Some that are green. And we'll do some that are yellow. And you can see I'm using like a brighter yellow. You can kind of add the colors together too. Very pretty. And then I'll do the red. I'm 
making it too bright because we want the main thing to be our mug. And there we go. Add a little bit of different colors into each of those leaves. And I'm pretty happy. Just, just need a little smoothing there. There we go. We've done a beautiful painting of pumpkin spice. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more painting ideas. Bye.